Hello everyone and welcome to my, uh, sadly, second run of this demo, uh, for a little game called... Say it for me. Come on, Greetings, game. Oh, brave here we go. Warrior from another world, and welcome to the terrain of magical expertise. Terrain of magical expertise, otherwise known as on the internet, in other varieties, Tome. So, uh, this is, as I said, my second time playing this demo. I will be linking in the description my first playthrough, which is my actual blind one. And the reason why I have to redo this is because my recording device totally screwed up and some people were saying, hey, how come the video looks bad? And I'm like, what are you talking about? And then I went back to watch and it was bad. So regardless, we're going to hop right in. And this time I'm actually going to be a lot more versed in it because the first time I played, I was kind of learning, but now I'm starting to really get into it. So we're going to hit new game here. We Please get to select create your desired race, class, and elemental alignment. Thank you. We get to create our character. So you have one of four different types of characters. Humanoid, the most human-looking type. Morphological, shape-shifting creatures made of slime rocks and other non-fleshy substances. So, you know, just sort of any any sort of... of what well, Morphological is really the best word. Gelatinous. Cybernetic. Cybernetic and robotic beings. And finally, animalistic. So we have animal-like qualities. So you know what? Let's be a furry. No one can stop me. Now you can choose your, your class here, so you can be a brawler, which lets you actually do more hits in your normal attacks. Weaponry gives you more power, but less hits, so more just raw damage if you prefer that. And finally, Spellcaster is a focus on spellcasting. I'm gonna be a brawler, because it's pretty dope to punch things a lot. And finally, we get to choose our element, so neutral, you don't have one. You don't have any weakness, but you don't really specialize in anything. Crystal, you get to, uh, represents ice, water, and stone. You can encase foes. Technical allows you to paralyze them, represents metal, steel, electricity, and lightning. Natural can let you flower them, which they can only defend itself and use weak physical attacks. And infernal, um, fire and darkness. Let's go ice, because ice is, is similar to white. You, shall be you will always be white in this game. It's not like you can actually play um, different colors because your character is the white hat, which is an original character. So as I said, this is based on a series called Tome, which is a web series as well as it was a, it's a, actually, this is based on the remake of an old web series, if that makes sense, um, which is actually really good. I'll be putting it in the description below. I really recommend giving it a watch. It is kind of... I love it, but at the same time, I sort of know that it's not hey, the deepest. Are. It's just Don't good, fun far. entertainment. Shall we? And these are our three characters from Tome that we know. We have Kerbifer, based off of uh, Kirby, Link, and the creator, Chris Neosi. We got Alpha, the main character of Tome, and we got Flame Girl. And so we got our team going on. Let's talk to this Welcome guy. Welcome to the terrain of Magical Expertise Prototype Demo. Contained within the stage are three battles that showcase the basic features of our combat system. If you check your notes file, you'll find a handy list of controls. But be warned, when in battle, you only have a short time to decide your move. So be ready to think on your feet. I didn't have any issues with the timing, but uh, let's hop into our first battle here. So the battles in this series are described as a cross between Paper Mario and Mega Man Battle Network. And you know what? I can see that. I can definitely see that. So, we have our options of item, magic, strike, and strategize. So, if we want to just do a normal combat, we hit strike. Now, this game features timed hits. So, what you want to do is when you go up to hit them, you press multiple times to do multiple hits. Magic lets you do different types of magic, which each have different ways of putting them in. Items lets you use items. And strategize is like defend, but other stuff later, which we'll get to see. So, for now, let's beat the, these guys with just regular strikes. So you can press the A button on the Xbox controller, or it'd be X on PlayStation 2 block. I didn't figure that out in my entire first playthrough, so make sure you do that. So brawler types get to hit six times, other types can only hit two. So take that into consideration when you're choosing your class. One very interesting thing is MP is shared amongst the team. That's something that's different for sure. So. We fought there, just the normal basic little leaf bug enemy type. 
We're actually going to move right on to, uh, so you saw how the combat is. We're going to move right on to the first battle featuring some people. If you're familiar with YouTube, you might recognize them. I think I'll let the, uh, the first guy explain for me. I'd be ready to show you the full strength of my team, but this is just a demo. A game demo. Let's battle. Yes, that is Matt Pat, the game theorist. And I know some people might be like, ooh, that's cringy, but you know what? Everyone who works on Tome are friends online, and so for example, Matt Pat is friends with a lot of the people working on Tome, and honestly, it doesn't bother me. But the cool thing is, if you um go and subscribe, not subscribe, but pledge, you can actually get your character in the game too. As such, I have pledged to get my character put in the game, so you'll see me as an enemy much like this. So. We can use Poseidon Wave here. So if you see, it says tap the magic button to charge up and do extra damage. So we're going to do that. So you got to get it into this area. So there's little mini games like in Paper Mario. That did damage across the board. There are elemental type matchups you've got to watch out for. But uh, for the most part, you can just take people down pretty easily. So we're going to use this. Taze him. As you can see, that did a lot of damage there. And the reason it did lots of damage... Oh, hey. Reason it did lots of damage because it is an elemental uh, matchup there. So the only people I recognize here are Matt Pat, and then that is Gaijin Goomba down there. Now, if I can be very honest, Gaijin Goomba is a care is a, well, not a character, but a person who I am not the biggest fan of online. I find I th I, I like to say in a darker timeline I was Gaijin Goomba, but uh, you know what? It's fine because I get to beat him up here. So it doesn't bother me too much. I guarded way too early there. So we put up a campfire with Flame Girl, which whenever we do our attack will continually heal us, which is super cool. So it makes me think these two yellow ones in the middle will be like, uh, like tower defense style bases you can add, which is really cool. So we're gonna attack, uh, let's attack Matt Pat here with our ice magic. Fire multiple of, that didn't do too much actually, that kind of sucked. But uh, let's see here. Vulcan Fist. Let's use... I do like Orion Discus a lot. We'll use that on this guy. Do you wait for it to... Oh, I didn't time it properly. It only goes back and forth a couple times. Oh, there we go. I, I blocked that at least. See, so yeah, Matt Pat attacks with, like, cyber sharks. It's a bit weird. And I love the little ghost that appears. It's great. So good. Um... Kerbifer here, normally he looks a lot more like, um, Dark Link and Kirby, but honestly, he's going for a very, like, Geno look here, which really fits considering, um, well, one of Kerbifer's first things that he really got popular for, and some of you might know, is a little thing called Rawest Forest, which is a lyrical version of the Super Mario RPG Geno's Maze song. You don't know what I'm talking about. It's like like that. That's what that's what one of the things he got famous for on Newgrounds really early with. So it's a, it's a nice it's a nice touch for sure. I do really recommend checking out Tome. It's cheesy. It's it's the best. So if we hit Orion Discus this time, there we go. It's uh, if you get it, you not only hit, but it comes back and it heals you. I missed there. That's fine. Just do two hits with these guys because they're different types. So there are other main characters for Tome, which we haven't seen yet. So we'll get to see them right away. I'm not hitting the timing on that properly. There is a timing to these punches to get it right. But we did it! We destroyed Game Theory. They weren't that tough. You know, maybe the real theory was their combat level. That's what was theoretical in the end. Maybe? Got him! Can we talk to them? No, they're ghosts. They're dead. So, in the Tome universe, uh, Tome itself is a VR MMO, but they said that they're going to go instead with making it a just a regular single-player RPG because they said, look, we're, we can't do we can't do a full MMO. It's not possible. So, let's beat up this dude here. Drop this little this new enemy. I think it's Balug is his name because it's a ball bug, which is adorable. So that's a healing fountain up there you can heal at. It's good to know. Healing stuff is always good in these games. Yeah, so the timing is a bit strange. You gotta make sure that you hit it just right. 
One thing that I am gonna tell Kerbifer in whatever way I can, I'm gonna look for a place to give it, is I do think there needs to be a bit more feedback on the timed hits for regular attacks, because it is not 100% easy to tell when you're hitting them or not. Um, but that's okay, because that's just something that needs to be kind of fixed with time. This is just an early Kickstarter demo, so let's just use a uh, Sun Shotgun here. This you just fire multiple times. It does good damage because these dudes are all wood elemental or nature elemental rather. See, I I, I really love Tome. Um, it's a web series that I watched. I don't even know where I got started, but uh, I actually discovered a few friends watched it. My good friend Jeff uh, actually got a character put into it and in one of the sequences. So that's really cool. And uh, as I said, I this guy just tells you about the fountains. Um, I am actually going to be an uh, enemy in the game because I backed enough for it. I was originally just going to be a character, but I'm like, nah, let's go up to being an enemy because then I can I can have fun with it. I can talk Players this one. Players have the ability to develop team attacks for greater power. They require larger amounts of magic and use up the turns of both players. But the results of a team attack strength is worth it indeed. Don't forget, you and your partners are capable of much the same. Yep, yep, so we'll be doing that pretty soon. I haven't fought this guy. I missed this guy in the first, uh, the first demo. Hey, let's do this. It's... Oh, these dudes look like, like, uh, buzz bombers. These guys are really good at practicing timing. Oh no, Cursed. Cursed is just poison in this universe. It hurts you every time your turn comes up. Let's try cold attacks on them. Maybe these guys are... Oh, they're pretty weak to cold, actually. Oh, they're actually super weak regardless. Yeah, there you go. They, they, these guys are nothing. Looks like first you were a vegan and now you will be gun. Hey! Yay! Let's actually go back and heal. Because, uh, there's three boss fights in this demo. And the next one I totally forgot about when I was first playing it and I got super hyped. And so I'm actually super excited to show them off again. God, I want to hear his voice once more. His beautiful, dulcet tones. Oh my god, there they are! If you know who they are, you might be screaming. Come on, sweetheart! Do it for daddy! It's Dumplin' and Puddin'. Based off of the Team 4 Star original characters for their Xenoverse playthroughs. Uh, these characters are very beloved. And they did massive damage to start off. We can do something like that, right? Yep, team attacks are on the magic menu. Let's show them the Vulcan Rocket. Vulcan Rocket is a really good name for an attack, so we're gonna use that right away. Uh, we're actually just gonna start with a strike, and we'll take out Dumplin' first. God, I love his face. It's the best. So yeah, we got Vulcan Rocket, which lets us do a powerful team up attack. Use it on Dumplin. So the good thing about the team-up attacks is, number one, that is super, super, super shippy. Um, when you use it, it does not require any timed inputs. It is just a big, strong attack, which I kind of like. Spark Taser is a lot of fun. You gotta wait for it to line up and use it, and then you get some good hits in. So one really good thing is that all of the uh, the attacks that Dumplin' and Puddin' do are taken straight from Xenoverse, specifically what they used in their Xenoverse Let's Play. It's so good. Like that's like a like a Dragon Ball thing. It's good. Um, apparently, um, what's the company? Um, uh, Toei hates Dumplin' and Pudding because they they try to sell merch with them and they're like, no, we technically own them, and they're like, um, what? So it's kind of funny that way. I got three there. I really want to use the, uh, got to, oh yeah, and he does have a, um, a resuscitating magic. But I'm so good at this, I'm not going to need it, obviously. We'll use Spark Taser again. Really got to be careful about your magic, though, because as everyone uses it, it does go down very fast. You do, in this demo, have a few healing items for it. That was just Final Flash. Oh, wow, is everyone paralyzed? No. That's the dive kick. It's so good. I don't know if these guys will be in the full game, because they are technically just Dragon Ball OCs, but... Oh, that's not good. That's a bad sound. That never happened in my first playthrough. There goes Dumplin'! Look at him! Oh, it's adorable. I can't wait to be an enemy in this game. And it's actually already halfway to being... Uh, ow, ow, ow. It's already halfway to being um, funded. 
So, like, the chance of it being funded is quite high. Let's throw, throw up uh, one magic thing here. So, we're going to... Let's use the discus, because I like that defense up. Yeah! There we go. Because when he comes back, you're then in a defense state. Which, like... Because normally, if you go strategize, you can defend there, so... I love the art style, and it is very Battle Network. Like, I feel it in the music, I feel it in kind of everything. So that there was an attack she did in a Xenoverse, which is great. I didn't hit those. Let's see if I can do this. There you go, just a couple more. I'm no longer paralyzed, so it's a chance of paralysis, I see. Let's try this. Oh, that's good, that's super effective. So fire is super effective against her, got it. Ah, uh, we'll just attack with you. Go, two hits. No longer paralyzed. Oh, she can just heal by touching her fists? I never saw that last time either. That's it's about the timing. It's actually a very specific timing. We haven't used Vulcan Fist. Vulcan Fist. One. Yeah, there you go. Extra damage. Sun gun. Should potentially finish her. Yeah, there we go. Like, like this, this tune specifically sounds a lot like Battle Network. I really love it. Oh, Dumplin' and Pudding, you died as you lived. Being the best parts of Xenoverse. I mean, what? I could have come up with something better, I know. We're gonna heal up once more. We head on to the final area, if I'm correct. Second final area. Regardless, let's go. It is just a short demo. To sh it's a proof of concept demo more than anything, but this is the best way to make people feel good about your Kickstarters. Like, I remember when Project Rap Rabbit was out and they'd never had anything for it, and it's like, well, that kind of sucks. What's up, my dude? Never know what dangers might lie ahead or what your next opponent might be capable of. If you're not equipped with the proper items to heal yourself, find the nearest healing station for you and your partners to rest. As they say, expect the unexpected. Definitely a voice I recognize. It might be Kira Buckland, but I could also be super wrong. So here we go. Final set of people. Not YouTubers, but actual characters from the Tome Show. So... Well, well. I love you, Raku! Generic pre-battle banter dialogue. What? You think I'm gonna waste my aim material on a demo? Come on. <laughs> Let's go! Raccoon, actually, every character got a, a redesign from the original tome. Because I think this is meant to be like a season three, if you will. Um, and uh-oh, hey, what's that? You can't attack a little freak in the middle. Are you pulling a fast one on us? Freak? Hey, words can hurt. Stupid. So, maybe I am pulling a little wizardry. Maybe not. But I bet your white camp buddy over there has got a trick or two up their sleeve. <laughs> FYI, might be hiding down there in the strategize menu. So, as Tome is a video game about an MMO, you can do stuff like, for example, hack the game! So by hacking it, you can refresh the targeting cache, fixing any targeting problems, because we can't target him right now. So we use it. Well, la -dee -da. You done did it. And we and we're, we're good. Why everyone should listen to the raccoon. <sighs> you can thank me later. Alright, so we can even though Raccoon is awesome, we can just kill him in kind of one hit here, I'm pretty sure, if we use the, the Vulcan. Vulcan rocket on him. Oh, so close. He's defending right now. This guy's the best name ever. It's Skate. Oh, that's so good. That's so lame. I love it. I love the MMO culture of this. As in, like, just the fact that someone would go online with the name Skate, you know? Now, thankfully, they remove all, like, number names in them. Spark. Spark taser on you. I think I was a little too quick on that, but I still did good damage. I can't defend this, I don't think. Oh, man, that killed him. 
I couldn't defend those. So I'm gonna use a Heavenly Chime to revive you. If you like... Feeling better. Um... Let's, uh, use a Discus so that we're, we're healed up, kind of. Let's see here. Let's use on your raccoon. Oh, I missed! I was too quick. We can't defend. The damage is the same, thankfully. God, I hate these paralysis and all this stuff. Paralysis and curse sucks. Oh, let's do energy cannon, fire off some, some electric lemons. I mean, it really looks like it. And of course, let's throw up a campfire, because that is very helpful for all these boss encounters. It's only a little bit of health, but it really helps. Oh, jeez. That sucks. A lot. Okay, well, let's use you to heal. And, um... Yeah, Alpha, you're gonna need some health. Uh-oh. Stop with the status ailments, I swear! Interesting that it doesn't, um... We throw up another campfire? I doubt it. Uh... We'll use Sun Gun. There you go. Well, you're done, at least. It doesn't heal status ailments when you die, which kind of sucks, but at the same time is a little interesting. And I missed that, but it's fine, I did damage. Okay, we should be good now. This is the final encounter of the game, so... It is just a demo. Okay. And, uh... We have very little MP left, so let's use some MP heals. Like, play around some more with some attacks that we haven't. Uh, this one is, is... It revives, but we have no one to revive, so we can't really use that. So we'll throw up just another... Ah, now we'll just attack. Go. So we dodge the one. And cold cluster. That's every class I've actually played through, like like I started out just to try out a different couple classes, and they do feel kinda different for your main character for sure. I will go Vulcan Fist again. And this one's really easy to hit. Although I'm sure later attacks will be a lot smaller. And uh yeah, Sun Gun, that should finish him off. There we go. We did it. And all we had to do was hack the game. So it's interesting that it says we have admin powers when it says that we hack the game. So that's going to be interesting for the story. And they're dead. Sayonara, my dudes. Alright. Here's the final area. Where we get to see little versions of a lot of the, uh... A lot of people who worked on the game. I see Blake Swift down there. I see... Thank All you for sorts with of us. people. Oh! Excellent work, my comrades. I. Nylock Dragon of Admirable Appreciation! Thank all of ye for thine time spent playing in our vibrant world of excitement. Look forward to the real adventure, hopefully in the very near future. Yeah, man. But until then, fare thee well. And remember to battle on! So that's little Karibo. Uh, and he's a main character. I love him in this in this game so much. Uh, or in the series. He's my favorite. Nylock's the best. And the other one there is Game Crazed. Uh, they're very important for the overall story. And I really recommend! If you're interested in this game, one, check it out. As I said, it's a Kickstarter that, hey, you'll get to beat me up in. I know some people will jump at that opportunity. Number two, um... If you're interested in, like, the universe, I really do recommend checking out the, um, overall... Tome universe. Um, well, mostly it's the web show. There's a few other things, but just check it out. It's really cool. Uh, it's just a good feeling, like classic internet story. You know, it reminds me of way back in when you're on new grounds and you don't have to worry about neo Nazis and all that stuff. But uh, thank you for watching my playthrough of the Tome demo. If you're interested in seeing my blind opinions on it, you can listen to it in kind of podcast form in the description. I apologize that you didn't get to hear it now, but uh, please go check this out. This game is Greetings, super cool. I am trying world, to talk right and now. Welcome to the terrain of magical expertise. Thank you. Uh, and thank you guys for watching. Once more, we'll see you next time. Ciao. You can...